Hi everyone, welcome back. The basic reading Tibetan language. Today here I just like to go you know, review the previous our lesson Jenjuk Chu Ngunjuk Nga Yangjuk Ni. So here I would like to explain a little bit more so that we can get a little familiar. So it's, you know, I know so far it's a little bit confused. So I'd like to explain one more time. So that way we will be able to recognize which are Jenjuk, which are Ngunjuk, which are Yangjuk. So I have here some example. And also I brought today the exact or how to say in English English Jenjukchu uh, literally I find the definition of Jenjukchu is like a ten suffix letter. It's like a the Jenjuk is like a suffix chu is number ten and so these are the letter that we have. How many letter we have? How many Jenju are there? Ten. Ka, nga, ta, na, pa, ma, a, ra, la, sa. So these are the ten letter called Jenju. The ten suffix letter. That is the uh, the exact the word in English. That is what I got. And here I have Ngunjuk Nga. So it's Ngunjuk is I got a, in English explanation. How to say in English is prefix. So I got a Ngunjuk is prefix. Nga is five letter is Ka, Ta, Pa, Ma. So how many letter are there? Ngunjuk. How many ngunjuk are there? Five. Ka, ta, pa, ma, aha. Keep trying to remember him. And yangjuk. I found a word that one suffix. I no no no. It's a second suffix. I know we have only a suffix, right? But this one called the second suffix. Second suffix. Second suffix, there are only two letters. Ta sa. So yang juk ni is only two letters. How many letters there are? Only two. Ta sa. So these are just to remember, trying to remember so it will get. I know some people want to just read. I don't want to go follow with this and that. You know, too many rules. My head is really getting headache. Oh my God. You know, it's okay. Just let it be. Don't stress yourself. Just, just oh, something like that rule. Just, just to, even if you don't know, don't want to focus. It's okay. Just to, you know, see. But, what I'm trying to tell here is just at least we are going further to reading. So that way it helps us to, you know, easy to read. We don't need somebody to, you know, to, oh, this is how we read. Because we have learned from the beginning every tool that we have. We have learned 30 consonant, ka, 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 nga, all the way. Ha -a, and then we have four vowel koi ka q v ki ka shab q all the way down is a q e e a shab u a dem we a na ro o then we come up with the seven yata and then lata tu arago sago and rata these are all that we have the tool we have learned so far everything here and then later we come up with the jenjuk chu ngunjuk nga yangjuk ni so these are the old tool we have so that mean 
now we can read if we now is this is the time that we have to you know learn a little bit focus jenjuk engunjuk yangjuk so these are help us to go more further more easier you know we don't want to escape without focusing you know those past whatever we have learned for every step we have learned are very essential very important is this called the basic foundation if we are, if we learn this basic foundation it will be easier for us to you know to go forward to learn so that's why i'm telling you guys to if you want really want to read the pattern want to know the meaning this is the basic foundation we have to learn we have to at least we have to you know give a little focus on those so in order to move forward so let's focus now here i have a very beautiful color with like a flower color so many co color <laughs> anyway here i have a three word which explain a little bit go review that we have learned jenjuk munjuk yangjuk so let's focus this this word we have everything here so here i put the color the red that this red belong to munjukna here so we have here pa this pa is called munjuk mean is prefix the letter they go before the main letter so this is the main letter whatever letter go before the main letter call munjuk how many letter are they five one two three four five ka ta pa ma ha only this five letter can go before the main letter there is no other letter only this five letter can go before the main letter so it just to keep in our mind so that's why i just to recognize you know i put the color is is a munjunga over here so this is the main letter and now the blue color is jenjuk chu so there are 10 jenjuk letter so this is the jenjuk whatever the letter go after the main letter called jenju jenju so how many jenju are there 10 ka na ta na pa ma a ra la sa so total there are 10 letter this 10 letter are the only can go or follow after the main letter there is no other word there is no other letter mean is there are 30 consonant that means if there are 30 letter only 10 letter only 10 letter can follow after the main letter so that's why is this are the called jenju only there are 10 letter you might be confused oh there are so many letter we don't have to concern we don't have to stress only there are 10 letter just to remind just to remember though 10 letter so then so now this is i put the color as a green is follow the yang juk i think it's best way to call is a second yang juk why is second yangju called because 
this ta and sa they are already jenju you see they are already suffix letter right here ta and sa already suffix but not only these two letter are suffix it also become a second suffix it's a yang ju so it's literally in tibetan a yang is like again it's just like a, you are having a one more cup of tea then again you are having a second cup of tea <laughs> something like that you know again like it's like a this two letter is not only doing a job jenju not only doing a, you know like a, a jenju uh, but is also doing doing a extra job yangju second second yangju so I mean is this two layer doing a extra job so that's why I put over here so this is the second suffix yangju so we might be thinking oh we don't have to confuse how many letter are there that the second suffix can follow you know how many later that you know become a second only two we don't have to worry too much because only two ta and sa previous i have told you this ta is you don't see is like hidden i have previous video has that this is hidden we don't see much when we learn only we just describe it, explain it's but we don't see in the text okay this uh, we can see so that's why i just remind you guys so that's why we don't have to confuse only two second suffix ta and sa so here uh, let, let's say so now it's like this munjuk here munjuk and this is the main letter and this is jenjuk and this is second jenjuk so now we have to pronounce remember that always we have to pronounce munjuk nga is kao tao pao mao hao so here we have pronounced pao sa gata ga rata ta Shabju tu. Again, this one is sa gata ga rata ta. Earlier we have written like sa go, remember? Sa gata ga re da ta. You know, sa gata ga. You remember? We have to learn like a um, sa gata ga. So now is this is rata. So it's like this is sa go and this is rata. And we have a karatata, garatata, right? So now is we are trying to put all together, like bring up all the two. And the sa gata ga rata ta. That this is how we have to pronounce one by one. Sa gata ga rata ta. Shabku tu pa sa dup. That is how when is this letter combined together make a sound drup okay one more pao sa gata ga rata ta shap q tu pa sa drup always we are remember one by one pao sa gata ga rata ta shap q tu pa sa drup Pao sa gata ga rata ta shabju tu pa sa dup. Pao sa gata ga rata ta shabju tu pa sa dup. So that's why we have to really focus one by one like a sa gata ga. And there is a rata ga rada ta. Now we have the shapku shapku tu pa sa tu. 
this one here. I know these are a little easier, but this was so many little bit confused. I want to focus more. Sa gata ga rata ta shabju tu pa sa dup. So that's why we have to remember oh, this is sa go, and this is rata, this is shabju. So once we know this one by one, we can read it, we can do it. So we only we have to just to recognize one by one. So when we read word, always one by one. That is how we become more strong. Next time when we read the text, we don't have to pronounce like oh When we look at the text, we can like dup. That is we know right away how to pronounce the this sound. So from the beginning, from beginner, we have to pronounce so many times. We have to pronounce, even you know the sound, it's always good to repeat one by one. So this is how make us more stronger, more easy for next level. Pau sa gata ga rata da shabju du pa sa dup. Pau sa gatanga rata ta shabju du pa sa dup. So that mean is accomplish. So here again. Au ta naru to ma sa tum. Au ta naru to ma sa tum. So this one is easier because why <laughs> there are so many not like this this has a sa gata ga and a rata and shabju so that's why i know this one is little difficult so this one is easy so that's why is we have to read one by one we can do it au ta naruto ma sa tom au ta naruto ma sa tom that is how we pronounce all together. Ao ta naruto ma sa tom. You can see here, munjuk so ma is jenjuk, sa is second yangjuk. Tom. Okay, next one. Oh, tom meaning is confused. I know this is exactly what what we needed here. I say I'm confused here. <laughs> Tom, confused. Okay, so next one. Mau ga eta ya naru yo ka sa yok. Mau ga eta ya naru yo ka sa yok. Mau ga eta ya naru yo ka sa yok. Yok meaning faster faster or quicker so here ma is munju right here ma munju and ga gadjana ryo is main letter and this one is jenjuk this one is second jenjuk so just trying to you know figure out you will be able to you know understand okay I just want to just review and you know, I just go through uh, that we have learned earlier previously just to you know have a little one more to review that help us to you know get more little clear that's why I make up this second second video with Jenjuk ten Jenjuk and five Munjuk and second Yangjuk okay so I hope you are all doing well and see you next chapter. Okay, okay, bye.